Oh my, Liberal MP Morel Belanger is taking umbrage to some of the lyrics found in O Canada. It's the inherent sexism of All Thy Sons Command that apparently makes our national anthem the most offensive tune this side of Mr. Roboto. So Belanger intends to table a private member's bill to rework the lyrics to the anthem. I think Belanger's onto something here, folks. And it's not merely the male pronoun thingy. There's tons of questionable language lurking in our anthem. For example, number one, the very title, O Canada. What do they mean, O? Is this a reference to the Big O, Montreal's taxpayer-funded sinkhole Olympic Stadium? Or is this a reference to the other Big O, and if it is, any innuendo regarding sexual bliss has no place in an anthem. O has got to go. Let's replace O with A. And really, how Canadian is A? A? A Canada. Two. Our home and native land. Now, this is surely offensive to Aboriginals who believe Canada is their home and native land. So how about we sell naming rights to A-Canada? Thus, home becomes Home Depot and native becomes native fried clothing. It's a mouthful, but think of the money, honey. Number three, true patriot love. Oh, please. Being Canadian means keeping one's pride entombed in a closet. All that flag-waving stuff. That's what the Yankees do. We're so much better than that. So how about true pastry love? Forget railroads, there's nothing that unites this nation more than the thousands of Tim Hortons from sea to shiny sea. From crullers to Timbits, we adore our deep fried dough. By the way, did you know that Walmart now sells thongs in quintuple XL? Number four, in all thy son's command, ah, the S word again, I say we leave son intact, but we spell son S-U-N, if not for that blazing ball of hydrogen some 93 million miles away, Earth is but a lifeless husk. Let's make Elizabeth May and David Suzuki happy by going solar. Number five, with glowing hearts we see thee rise. Now, aside from the completely inappropriate sexual double entendre here, the only things that truly glow are items that have been irradiated. It's high time we made Canada a nuclear-free zone, don't you think? So let's make the can-do a can-don't. The replacement lyrics, hey, hey, ho, ho, the industrial military complex has got to go. Number six, true north, strong and free. Being a Canadian is about being inclusive. Did we consult the Norwegians and the Danes and the Russians about this true north business? And how dare we get so judgmental by calling this area true? For as the progressives often fret, who are we to say what's right and wrong? My suggested replacement lyrics, you just can't lose when you do the cruise. Yet yeah, meaningless to be sure, but our prime directive is to be inoffensive. Number seven, from far and wide. Is this potentially mocking the obese? If so, far and wide is out too. The replacement lyrics, be you small, medium, or large, enjoy your stay, because nobody's in charge. Number eight, we stand on guard for the, wait a second, what of the physically challenged who are unable to stand Let's go with stand, sit, or slither. Canada shall not wither. Number nine, God keep our land glorious and free. God? Wait a minute. As in G-O-D? No way. My head's going to explode. What of the atheists and agnostics and the humanists? Replacement lyrics? You just can't lose when you do the cruise. Yeah, this line appears earlier in A Canada, but since it's so gloriously inoffensive and it rhymes... It shall be repeated whenever necessary. So to recap, a Canada, our Home Depot and Native Pride clothing kind of place, true pastry love, the sun as in S-U-N shines on your face. Hey, hey, ho, ho, the military industrial complex has got to go. You just can't lose when you do the cruise. Be you small, medium or large, enjoy your stay because nobody's in charge. Stand, sit, or slither, Canada shall not wither. You just can't lose when you do the cruise. A Canada. It's got a ring to it in a non-offensive, non-judgmental, non-judgmental, meaningless kind of way, wouldn't you say? Thank you. Thank you very much. But joking aside, if you think our anthem should not be changed, then please go to www.saveocanada.ca and sign the petition that I'm launching to preserve our national anthem. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies.